Bucky Brooks has his second mock draft at NFL.com. I have read through it twice, <laughs> and I have questions. I've written down. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So Evan Neal, the big tackle out of Alabama, you have him going number one to Jacksonville. Why Neal? Neal is probably the most technically refined offensive tackle. When you look at the Jaguars and what they want to do, they want to build around the quarterback. So if you're going to build around the quarterback, you want someone who is day one ready to go. Evan Neal, to me, appears the most pro-ready prospect at the offensive tackle. At number six to Carolina, Pittsburgh quarterback Kenny Pickett. That's earlier than anybody else. I mean, it is really early, but if you're the Carolina Panthers and you're Matt Rule and you have this need to kind of get this program jump started, the quarterback position has been a struggle for them the last two years. Maybe you go and find someone who kind of embodies the qualities that you want of the team. Kenny Pickett, to me, kind of rough, rugged, tough, high IQ, very experienced. Gives them a chance to put a rookie on the field right away because he has a lot of game reps. First wide receiver you have going is at number 10, Ohio State's Garrett Wilson. Why is he the number one wide out off your board? Garrett Wilson, to me, is a true number one. A true number one is a guy that can run routes. He can create big plays down the field. Might not necessarily be the fastest, but he's terrific at being the anchor of the passing game. Garrett Wilson exhibited all those qualities during his time at Ohio State. I think he's going to be a terrific number one receiver in the league. All right, so the first one that really got me to go, whoa, Purdue outside linebacker defensive end George Karloftis goes number 12. Why here? Well, he goes number 12 because when you think about their new coach, Kevin O'Connell comes from the L.A. Rams. The L.A. Rams won the Super Bowl, not necessarily because of their offense, because their pass rush in the Super Bowl was able to get it done. You're Kevin O'Connell. You've seen how that helped you win a ring. You absolutely want to make sure you have a stable of pass rushers in the fold. And he looks like a Minnesota Viking. He does. He looks he does. like a Minnesota Viking. Okay, at number 20, yeah. Malik Willis, the quarterback from Liberty to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two-part question. Do you really think he lasts to number 20? And if he's there, why is he right for Pittsburgh? I think he has a chance to last there because when you look at the teams that have quarterback scenarios, Malik Willis is a guy that's probably a little more of a developmental prospect. But I heard those same words uttered when we talked about Josh Allen and Lamar Jackson. When we think about the guys that have really popped in the league at quarterback, it's been the guys with outstanding tools. Big time arm talent, maybe the most impressive arm talent in the league. You think about his athleticism with his legs. Sometimes with a young quarterback, you can get by with a little more of an athletic player until they develop the refined part of being in the pocket. All right, so we go next to number 25. You have Alabama wideout Jamison Williams ACL and all going to Buffalo. Talented, speed wide receiver, but the ACL was on January 11th. Yeah, so look, this has to be a long term investment. If you're the Buffalo Bills, you're looking at this. How can we continue to elevate Josh Allen? Well, one thing we can do is add playmakers around him. They already have wide receivers in Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley, Gabe Davis showed up in the postseason. So this is almost like a luxury pick. If you can get a true number one receiver, someone that can take the top off the defense like Williams and you don't have to rush him onto the field is a great opportunity if he's sitting there at 25. All right, Titans fans are waiting for this. We're at number 26. Bucky Brooks says the Titans select Jahan Dotson, wide receiver, Penn State. You know, when you think about the Titans, you have uncertainty in terms of what are we going to do with Julio Jones. A.J. Brown is terrific. He's a monster. But you need someone on the other side who is an outstanding route runner who also has some different traits. When you look at Dotson on tape, he not only is a guy that can take the top off the coverage, but he's a catch and run specialist. When we've seen Ryan Tannehill have his best success, it's when he's had guys on the perimeter that can get those yak yards, yards after catch that can run with it. And so Dotson is a nice fit. He's a great route runner, and I believe he's the perfect number two to A.J. Brown being a number one. All right, so at number 29, the Miami Dolphins, according to your mock select, N'Kobe Dean, linebacker, Georgia. If he's there at 29, that's incredible value for the Dolphins. It would be an incredible value. And so here's the thing that could happen at the combine. N'Kobe Dean has to measure out. And let's just say he's right at the six-foot mark. He's not necessarily the prototype when it comes to size. That could lead to a little fall. But if you're the Miami Dolphins and you're Josh Boyer, defense coordinator trying to rebuild his defense, you need someone in the middle who can be the traffic cop. We have seen throughout the time Dean is one of the most okay. instinctive and intelligent linebackers that you'll find. And you want a Georgia defensive yeah. player right now. Oh, I mean, they're tough. They're tough. Period. All right, finally, at number 32, and speaking of incredible value, Travon Walker, defensive lineman, outside linebacker, whatever he is, monster out of Georgia to Detroit with their second number one pick. Well, if you're Detroit, you want to accumulate enough good players as you can. If Walker is there, you have to take him. His versatility, his explosiveness, 
adds a layer to this defense. They need to improve defensively. They play hard, but now you want to get more hard-playing players that are talented. He's a very talented player. I love talking about your mock draft with you. Thanks for doing it. <laughs> Thanks for having me.